Well, we all remember Norman Bates and the shower scene, don't we? The movie Psycho premiered in 1960. It's still considered an American horror classic, and Freddie Highmore is playing Norman Bates in the A&E series Bates Motel. This is a pre uh, prequel to the original movie. Good morning, Freddie. Morning, Mike. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. The third season, it premieres Monday. And this series, it's really become extremely popular. Can you catch us up a little bit? Yes, yeah, so I guess it's the the origin story of Norman Bates, if you like, Bates Motel. Uh, what made Norman Bates psycho. And I think the first two seasons were really establishing who he was, where he's... Uh, come from his relationship with his mother and setting him up as someone that we that we support and that we like and I think this third season starts to destruct that yeah well, we, I wanna, uh, we might not be on his side by the end of it well uh, give us some secrets here because I, like you said it gives us some insight about Norman's psyche what does he what does he actually learn in this third season one of the interesting things about this third season is the developing relationship hey. between Norman and this fictional version of his mother uh, this vision mother that appears to him that he sort of conjures up and starts to uh, influence him to do influence his more and activate his more dangerous side. <laughs> yeah, well, more dangerous. There's, right. Well, what's it yes. like? What's it like playing Norman Bates? Because I think he was voted like one of the most terrifying characters in American history, or something like that. He's a nice guy as well, though. He's a lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's that split Sounds like personality it. thing with Norman. But obviously, I'm so uh, so lucky, really, to be able to, 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 to portray him. Are you able to tap into this dark side? How, how do you do it? I guess there's always that. It's sort of pushing it up to the point where, where you start to laugh. Vera Farmigo, plays a, who plays Norma, Norman's mother, uh, and I on set are always, especially in those more intimate scenes, um, you kind of push it up to the point where it stops being believable, but keep trying to ground it in, in reality. Yeah. Um, and especially in this third season where their physical closeness um, becomes uh, ever more uh, important to the storyline. Right. Uh, it's just keeping that, keeping it real and keeping it based in reality and that, that makes it creepier than, yeah. than overdoing it or, or playing it uh, over the top. I see you're choosing your words carefully as to not give, an, give away any surprises, but uh, <laughs> speaking of, sur of surprises, are you surprised at the popularity of this series given this, I mean this original movie was released some 55 years ago? Sure, I guess in some way it's testament to the enduring qualities of Hitchcock's psycho and the way that this character he set up, however many, 55 as you just said, uh, 55 years ago, just still scares people. Um, and it's not based in special effects or yeah. uh, anything other than just the pure creepiness of this one guy who seemingly once was was nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At one time he was. Um, I remember you and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. Have you been working on any other projects? Uh, I've been doing Bates Motel, sort of combining it alongside university uh, for the last couple of years, and I graduated last year. So now is the sort of first big chunk after after Cambridge in which to do something. So I'm going to be going back to London and, and doing this BBC uh, series for now. Well, congratulations on that diploma. And the third season of Bates Motel premieres Monday at 8 o'clock on A&E. Freddie, thanks for uh, talking with us this morning uh, and great catching up with you. Yes, thank you. Cheers. You, bet, you betcha. You too. Mary, over to you.